Mary and Chris uh, came to our, our home office four years ago. I remember that day so well because you were you gave us a tour of your offices and there was a great big American flag and then we went into the room where you had the dedication to Warren Buffett, but also recognizing uh, many of your employees or relatives or families of your employees and the role they played in service to our country. I'll give Mary full credit for it. I think she said, this would make a great book. You've got all this wonderful material here that really encaptured a great story about America. So how was Warren Buffett connected to our soldiers? Warren Buffett included the following statement in his 2018 Berkshire Hathaway annual report, celebrating the 75th anniversary of D-Day. It's beyond arrogance for American businesses or individuals to boast that they have done it alone. The tidy rows of simple white crosses at Normandy should shame those who make such claims. Warren Buffett. We should be studying Warren Buffett. What a wonderful person. He's a great American. He's what, he's what America's about. Good leaders, by definition, are, are humble. He's been very outspoken at times in a way that kind of calms everybody down and just, this is the way we're going, you know? This book humanizes him for all of us. It makes what he has done in his life attainable for everybody, uh, even if it's just the messaging and the way he's chosen to live his life. The way he's been able to be successful, but at the same time, he gives back, he's philanthropic. He's supportive of his, of his community and the people he cares about, and he does it in a very humble way. I think that there are great life lessons that we can learn from the American Tailwind, not only from how Warren Buffett was raised, but just reminding ourselves of all the greatness that we have. The prisoners that were, were here in Mequon had been um, in Africa with uh, Erwin Rommel, known as the Desert Fox. My dad chose 12 of them to work with him at Herbert Ainin and uh, Canning Company. My dad was the foreman. Some people don't realize where Jim's office is, and it actually looks out over the canning factory, which is St. Paul Fish Company. My uncle, Corino Monticelli, is featured in the book, and uh, he served in World War Two from 1941 to 1945. And he was trained under General George Patton in the Mojave Desert and then followed him all the way through the Battle of the Bulge. So we got this information because he was interviewed by the Wisconsin Veterans Museum in 2018 at the age of 100. And he went on to live until 102 years old. And he coincidentally grew up only two miles away from where Jim Marshall grew up. So that was a very uh, cool tie in with the book. You know, I, I have a ghost that I carry with me. I never looked at my dad in his eyes and I never shook his hand and I never said thank you. I never had that opportunity until he was on his deathbed. And I promised him that I was going to do something in his honor. And I got very involved with the American Legion. And fast forward, I got involved with Stars and Stripes Honor Flight. But I look at that plane and all I see is my dad. I never got to take a flight with him, but that ghost never leaves. And this is my way that I can say thank you to the veterans. And your book just reminded me about why I have to keep going and why I have to give back to our veterans. We often look past or don't remember those who made such, such ultimate sacrifice, selfless sacrifice. And I believe that's what this book does, is it captures that and just, again, reminds people we have what we have because of them. People before us that have sacrificed in ways we will never imagine. We can read about these things. They're glamorized in movies, and there are so few of these folks left to tell us about that. And when they do, we all listen. And I think this book is a collection of stories and experiences and important window into people's lives that I think gives us an, a connection and an understanding that's very, very powerful. As I read it, I thought, geez, this book needs to be read by every youth in our communities. It's your way to show appreciation for those who have served 
uh, but it's also your way then of trying to help other people have that same appreciation and understanding. So thank you for appreciating us. The American Tailwind and the Resilience of America. For the next generation to give them hope.